Now, I don't mean to brag, but I'm a bit of a long, long man. Seriously, for those of you that say size doesn't matter, look at my health bar. <laughs> Alright, look, this is wonderful in every single way. I have over 3,200 health. I'm level 125, by the way. I'm not doing any shenanigans here. This is just brilliant. I have found and stacked every single health increasing mechanic, item, stat, etc. in the game and put it all on at once. And apart from looking impressive, you become a nigh unkillable immortal healing god with just a single edition of a single Ash of War that was the first to pop into my head. Because today it's about the health, the experiment to get the most, the maximum health possible in Elden Ring. Essentially, say goodbye to literally ever being one shot again. Hell, say goodbye to being two shot again. You have people in PvP hitting you, and then you can see them kind of pause for a moment when they're like, wait a minute, why is he still on like 80% health? Oh no, it's just fantastic. Fantastic! So of course you're probably sat there, how do I achieve such greatness? Well, it's actually rather simple because there exists only a grand total of five ways to increase your health pool. So let's go through them, shall we? And then I'll add in the little spice that I quickly threw together to turn this into actually a ridiculously viable build. The first, of course, is Vigor. Level Vigor. This is the stat spread of what I'm doing here. You can see everything else is really low despite how effectively it's still killing things, but of course I have gone to 99 Vigor. 60 is the soft cap for Vigor and is about what you want to have on any given build. Past that, you're sort of wasting your time. But 99 Vigor gives you 2,100 health. For reference, 60 Vigor gives you 1,900 health. So you can see what those last 39 points do, and it's plus 200. Not the best in any other normal scenario that we're not doing this specific thing. Yeah, please spend them in other places and boost your damage. But for now, we do need that 99 Vigor. Especially as every other way of increasing your health is percentage based on your current health, so every little does start to really matter. The next two ways are both talismans, and you're probably aware of them. Let's be honest, they're quite standard, commonly used one. At least one of them is, but the other one you can't really miss either. It is the Crimson Amber Medallion, specifically the plus two Crimson Amber Medallion. This gives you an extra 7.5% total health, which is a fairly good chunk when it's increasing 2.1k by 7.5%. And this is found after Lane Dells become a little bit, uh, not what it was, let's say. When you drop down the new entrance to the sewers, you can carefully land on this balance beam, and the corpse there on it contains this medallion. It didn't do him much good, but it's going to do us a lot better. The next talisman, then, is going to be the Erdtree's Favor, again with plus two, and this gives you an extra 4% health, which does stack, of course, with the previous 7.5%. So this is found also once the capital has taken on a little bit of a mob dreary approach. You need to go back to Langdell via the Great Lift of Rold, re-approach the city, head across the bridge, down the lift once more, curve round, and enter the ultimate death doom pit of ultimate death doom. Oh god, why? Then we'll try that again, but this time invisibly. Yes, indeed, much, much easier. You just walk on through the ash and grab the talisman, one of the legendary talismans, from uh, the corpse on a little bit of ruin. That's all well and good. So now we've got our 2.1k. We're increasing it by 11.5%. That's already going to be just over a 210 bump, which is really, really nice. Then we have Wondrous Physic. There is a tier that you can get from a worm face boss in the middle of Altus Plateau. It's the Erd Tree boss there, and it's one of the more unique ones. Just don't get grabbed by his wormy face. What this does is for three minutes increase your maximum health by 10%. 
This is obviously quite a significant increase. And it lasts for three minutes. So we're up to a 21.5% increase, which takes us to 2,550 or so maximum health. Then we have the final and biggest piece of this puzzle, a great rune, Morgoth's great rune from the good old Omen King himself, a required boss, so you will of course eventually get this if you don't have it already, and what this does is until you die gives you 25% more health. And it does it after everything else that gives you health is applied. And that's the key here. Instead of taking your 2100 base and increasing it by 46.5%, which would give you 3076 health, it instead takes that 2550 figure, increases it by 25%, and gives you our 3.2k or so number of loveliness. And that's basically it then. You walk around with a wondrous physic on, two talismans, 99 vigor, a great rune, and you become, well, actually healthier than every single starting boss in Limgrave, which I think is brilliant to be able to say. But of course, all this health is for nothing if we can't do anything tangibly useful with it. Well, what if we grab a weapon like this butchering knife that heals you for 1% of your health every time you hit? That sounds really bad, and for the most part it is. It's just a nice little bonus of using this weapon. But the thing is, when you consider that your health is this high, that's 32 health per instance of damage that this weapon applies. Which is actually a fairly nice, decent little bump and really does make a difference. But we can go, obviously, further than that. There is a Lash of War called Prayerful Strike. You get it from an invisible beetle running around in the moat of Dell, just outside the city. And as a tip for these things, just hold the heavy attack on the horse and while you're dragging your weapon along, it counts as a hit and does the one damage needed to break the beetle. In any case, what Prayerful Strike will do is heal you for 30% of your maximum health when it hits on top of giving you nigh unbreakable hyper armor while you cast it. You heard that right. That means that every time you hit with this Ash of War, you are getting nearly 1,000 health back. Is that not hilarious? Because we have pumped our health so much, we get more health back than I imagine some of you even have total health with your current figure stat. Which means you can just do this, smack things for a thousand damage a pop, thanks to the addition of Alexander's and the Holy Scorpion, and then heal for inordinate amounts of damage. Meaning that as long as you don't get massively comboed or chain take the boss's biggest hits, you can't really die because you just need to land a single one of these. And generally, because you're healing for so much, even if you take an attack in order to get this off, you will heal for more than that attack does damage to you. It also does massive poise stagger damage, which is a really nice little bonus to boot and lets you wind up the next one. This is absolutely brilliant and I cannot express enough how much I recommend you give it a go. So there you have it everybody, how to have the literal most health possible in Elden Ring, just north of 3200, and how to turn having that health pool into something truly powerful. I imagine you guys can take this even further, add more on top if you're higher level than me and could put more points in stats other than figure and just take this to crazy town, but even at this stage, I mean, you could see how wonderfully fun it is. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please like if you've had. Subscribe for more, well, neat little videos like this. Builds, guides, fun stuff. You know the drill. Until we meet again, please consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. And, well, a good one. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye